Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that are found in the world of Transformers. I let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Russ. Just a quick reminder that I'm going to be going live again tomorrow for the watch along uh, for the next fan stream. Now unfortunately I still don't think we're going to see Swoop. I think that's going to be safe for the weekend, but it'll still be fun to watch it and react with you guys um, all the same. So if you're not too busy, jump on board we'll have a chat and join in with the rest of the community that we've got in the chat as well right moving on to actual news again this a lot of the things we've already seen but some of these have got much much better images like this so this again is mark maher taking to his instagram this is via his instagram via tfw 2005 this is his insights and he's talking a lot about of course the deluxe insecticons which to be honest i'm so excited for it's it's again we you know we haven't had a decent in fact we haven't had any reissue of barrage at all chop shop we've had a couple of but they haven't been anything spectacular this guy looks great they look like a true i suppose reflection of their generation one self windsweeper looks great as well um so it's basically just the mayor of attack squad or oh, they're calling them something slightly different so we've got his insights um and his i suppose input into what went into making these amazing figures just to whet our appetites before they are released i've got both of them on pre-order can't wait for them i think they look great i want you guys to let me know in the comments what you think did you manage to get some on pre-order as well is it something that you're interested in so talking about things that we've already seen lots of over the weekend it was um let me see it was chinese 40th anniversary fan salon so basically they had everything from legacy united including the commander and the titan uh, class uh, figures uh, they had them out on display a couple of people have managed to buy them take a moment do some amazing photos i'm going to show you some of these i'm not going to show you all of the pictures i'm going to direct you where to go to uh, because again it's obviously not too great with the reflection but if you head to tfw 2005 you can see a full report on all of these figures there which is basically legacy wave 2 with you can see this there that's a, just a quick screenshot of some of the images this is the one that i can't wait for magmatron looks spectacular this combined mode again looks spectacular i don't know too much about this character all i know is that the toy just looks phenomenal so head to tfw 2005 to see that and also of legacy tidal wave so i know we've seen so many images of this figure but um these particular let me get the name of the person who took the photos i think it's no trab sorry if i've got that wrong i've got to credit him because his photos are amazing apologies for the reflection there uh, but these are the images that we haven't seen a lot of so this is of course the little parts that you combine with your armada megatron um and it looks really really good his photos are amazing as well by the way um he's really done these figures a lot of justice which i'm sure you'll agree um i'm there it is yeah it is note no trap i'm waiting for this to get a little bit reduced at the moment i i probably will get it uh, but at the moment i've got so many things on pre-order i didn't get this in the list as well um right great news for tf nation guys we've got greg berger he's also going to be there which is of course the actor of voice actor for grimlock it looks like he's going to be sponsored by robosend so i would imagine obviously because they've got the robosend grimlock he could be on their stall can't wait to actually see and meet him in person um, he's done so many others as well of course like lockdown stockade major mayhem and volcanicus in power of the prime so him and david k are both of course great additions to the tf nation in the uk lineup right moving on um i wonder where they got this name from i don't know if obviously this can't be the original diaclone name for him but if it is please do let me know in the comments so this is rigorous um you probably saw my hoist I and mean, i've got a hoist review for later on today i'm losing track of the days and the times uh, hoist is definitely going later this is of course a redeco really of him without all the back kibble i think it looks good i might have to get it i don't know again i haven't got too much of an affiliation or affection for diet for, for some of the diaclone figures some of the ones i love uh, but for this particular guy no real um yeah no real as i say draw towards the character but if you want me to review it uh let me know and i'll get myself one so we can do that again same uh photographer no trap he's gonna made he's gonna make me want this i didn't want this up until now this is the target bullseye optimus prime figure uh, i know it's just the uh laser optimus prime mold uh with the you know really i hate saying this but it is it's a useless cab um it's it, i've got like three or four of them already just stacked up in a box in the loft 
Um, I like the way he's used the, uh, I suppose, is that the ramp as a shield? Uh, but he's even gone and made, as I say, the whole trailer look good. And he's made me want this. Um, he really has made me want it. The photos look really good. And everybody knows I'm a variant collector anyway. Uh, but I need to find out, I suppose, where they sell them in the UK. We obviously have no targets over here whatsoever. Um, look, he's, he's even made the trailer look good. And we know that the trailer's just, you know, really hollow inside, not much going on. Uh, but yeah, the photos he's done for this have done the figure a load of justice. So I think he's managed to twist my arm in honesty. There we are, last images of him. And then we've got a few sightings here. So there is a load, I'm not gonna read them all. I do strongly suggest you check out TFW 2005 for their international sightings. And they always do this. They constantly update the website when people spot stuff and they take photos on. Like Earthspark has been found in Germany, Earthspark Wave 1, Cyber Combiners, and Studio Series Wave 23 Voyager in Ireland. Uh, we've also got the new Alpha. This is the new Megatron that I've been looking for. I've seen Shockwave, sorry, I've seen, um, Starscream, but I've not seen Starscream and Bumblebee, but I've not seen this one yet. Uh, this one has been spotted in Australia, typically uh, nowhere near myself. But this is the one that if I see this, I'm going to get it and definitely do a review on because I think it looks great. Right. New Age have updated their Facebook page with the fact that they're going to be obviously shipping all the new uh, Sea Spray Deco figures. And correct me if I'm wrong here, New Age followers. I'm sure that that is the Megatron from uh, Dark of the Moon that they've been teasing for ages on their now defunct Weibo page. Uh, this is from the Facebook page. They've been teasing the Dark of the Moon Megatron for as long as I've been searching on that website since I've been doing third parties about eight, you know, 18 months or so. Uh, I'm sure it is. So it looks like we've got a tease there in play. This is one thing that I suppose is amazing. This is, if, if it's up your street, but this is New Zealand Mint. We've already seen they're doing coins for the 40th anniversary. Now they're doing solid blocks of silver uh, now these aren't cheap like for instance one of them it's five ounces of solid silver and it's 500 i presume that's australian dollars or new zealand dollars uh, limited to only 200 units they're still available at the time of me saying this uh, but the other ones the 1984 units uh, the one ounce silver poster coin which is 150 dollars is sold out on that particular website but it is available on pre-order via Canadian coin in website. So let me show you these. So this is again, it's the Generation 1 Optimus Prime 40th anniversary. It's the cover of the very first comic in the US and it is a solid block of silver. It comes in its again, protective case, display box, etc. We've of course got the new king on the back of it. Um, and as I say, that one's the one that weighs one ounce. And then we've got another one, which weighs five solid ounces of sterling silver. And that's why it's not cheap and they're calling on this holy grails already um it's not my cup of tea i appreciate that people will really appreciate this and some people might go mad for it i'm just obviously letting you guys know if this is something you're interested in you need to act pretty fast because i imagine that these ones are going to sell out really quickly as well right moving on very quickly then to things available on shows store i obviously do reviews for shows and in demand stores in demand stores is in the uk where you get all your figures that you can't get from here your mainline ones like your generations your legacy united and your studio series whereas on show z you get points as well as on in demand you can get the kang toys figures you can get the pre-order for the new uh, ultra magnus which everybody's talking about at the moment there is also the yolo park figures dx9 dr Wu, um three zero mdlx yolo park masterpiece new age masterpiece movies Missing Links, Lunar Prime or Lunar Convoy, whatever you want to call him there. So many figures, DNA kits, etc. So much to choose from, guys. Check out either of them particular websites. I look forward to speaking to most of you uh, tomorrow in the live stream. If not, I'll speak to you soon in the live stream the following week, uh, which, of course, the monthly channel membership draw will be done as well. And I'll hopefully be getting the rest of Legacy Wave 2 to get the reviews done as well. So keep an eye on the community for polls of which figure you want me to review first. As always, thank you very much. Take care.